So I guess socialism is when no car, huh? Socialism when no car. Oh, kill me. Better worker rights and more and less alienation. That's all a lie. That's a <laughs> lie. What he's talking about can happen in a capitalist system, and it is explicitly not what socialism is about. Please, please, ask some real questions. Like, oh, so like in your ideal model, you would ban all private ownership. No more investments like that. No more private ownership of any businesses. All of that would be 100% banned, right? These are liberal ideas, and they can be implemented in a capitalist system. Just say what you believe. Yeah, he LARPs as a sock dem on these podcasts. So he grifted a little bit. So making money and... He's saying... <laughs> <laughs> what is <laughs> what? <laughs> oh I, never mind. I'm sorry. This is a new Hassan talking point. I'm just. Is, is this. <laughs> uh, so, is socialism when you keep. This isn't even champagne socialism. This is like Down syndrome socialism. This is like lead paint eating socialism. Or, uh, on. <laughs> Wait! And I. Uh, because we are not IRI. Mm, it's good if Israel hits IRI, uh, Iran because then it's gonna diminish the power of IRI. Uh, we are not them. Uh, uh, let them uh, let them attack the embassy. Uh, um, like let's go. Like they are cheering for Israel. Oh, he's talking about anti-regime Iranians. Oh, okay, okay. In America to start bombing them. How much of a cuckold you have to be to be like, oh, please, America, bomb us, bomb us. I would love you to bomb us because that really fucking worked out for any fucking country that was bombed by US. Shut the up, retards. Holy shit, man. Oh my god. These are f***ing people who are cheering for f Israel, all right? Uh, okay. I'm, I... okay. So, one thing that is a common controversy that people accuse you of is the champagne socialist. Mm -hmm. Can you explain- Oh, three hours ago. Wait, oh. Is this cut from an old episode, or is this- did they just shoot this? Three hours ago. Oh no, two and a half hours. It must have been just recent, yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. left, right, get in my zone. I don't think is, is yeah. appropriate to ask of. So one thing that- Wait, what's uh, that? I feel like when you have a contract of that sort, then it's like, I'm requiring a shit ton of like, emotional labor even, uh, from people that I don't think is, is yeah. appropriate to ask of. So one thing that is a common controversy that people accuse you of is the champagne socialist. Mm -hmm. Can you explain what a champagne socialist is? I think a champagne socialist is born out of the misunderstanding that like socialism Socialists have to be poor. that you have to be poor. No, that's not, that's not what, that's not what it comes from and that's not what it means. It means when you wear socialism as an aesthetic, when you preach about the evils of capitalism while thriving in it and living your best life and taking absolutely no steps whatsoever to either live a socialist lifestyle, which doesn't mean poor, it means help empowering or enabling people to participate in sharing the means of production uh, in your own businesses, or maybe empowering or enabling mutual aid programs to usurp or supersede uh, other local state programs or other charitable things or whatever, like because mutual aid is a better way to do it. Champagne socialism just means you don't believe in anything you're saying. You're, you're essentially grifting. That born out of misunderstanding <sighs> that like this? socialism implies that you have to be poor. That like you can. I hope they push. Ah, oh, that's so stupid. Please don't let them get away with this. Oh, I can't have a two hundred fifty thousand dollars Mercedes Benz or whatever the f car he bought Porsche. Uh, I can't have that, guys. Oh, I guess socialism is when no car, huh? Socialism when no car. Oh, kill me, bro. Standing that like socialism implies that you have to be poor that like you cannot be successful and that like everyone has the same thing like it's a uh, socialism is about like instituting by force uh the the same standards of existence for everyone you know city the gray city blocks come to mind you know social housing soviet era maybe equity instead of yeah, equality exactly that was the word i was looking for thank you so much it is about it, it, it is about equity instead of equality. That's mm -hmm. what people misunderstand about socialism. It is not about equity instead of equality at all. We don't have material equality as a baseline in this country. We don't have that at all. I'm advocating for a baseline of material equality, and I'm advocating for better worker protections, better worker rights, and more and less alienation. That's all a lie. That's a f***ing lie. F
What he's talking about can happen in a capitalist system, and it is explicitly not what socialism is about. It's not about materially equal conditions. That's called welfare or redistribution, which capitalism can do, right? You are talking specifically about getting rid of or eliminating the profit, or at the very least, redirecting the profit to workers. You want to destroy private ownership because owners that don't work shouldn't be collecting money off of people that do. That's fundamentally what your belief is. And that's not even like this is what Marxists believe. This is what you believe. You said this on stream, motherfucker. Oh my god, it's so cringe. I, he's gonna walk on all this. <sighs> he's gonna walk on all of this. F me. I don't have that at all. I'm advocating for a baseline of material equality, and I'm advocating- Baseline of material equality. Yeah, every capitalist on the left does this, chief. Like, it's- <sighs> At all. I'm advocating for a baseline of material equality, and I'm advocating for better worker protections, better worker rights, and more- and less alienation from labor, and more autonomy. That- that everyone can have a say because they are a part of the puzzle, that everyone that touches a project also has some level of, uh, some level of say in what gets done with the surplus labor. So it has nothing to do with like, you know, making sure everyone is poor or whatever the people please think. Please push, please, please, please. Ask some real questions like, oh, so like in your ideal model, you would ban all private ownership. No more private, no more investments like that, no more private ownership of any businesses. All of that would be 100% banned, right? Think about socialism. Uh, I don't really care too much about it uh, as far as like, uh, think about social. Do with like, you know, f making sure everyone is poor or whatever the f people think about socialism. Uh, I don't really care too much about it uh, as far as like, uh, as, as far as an own. Like people will be like socialism, but you have an iPhone or socialism because he's like, uh, dumb things that you buy that are very expensive, which is true. I do. I buy expensive shit from time to time. I <laughs> kill me, bro. Oh, it's so gross. I am equally upset with the iced coffee hour. There, bro. He he should be getting raked over the fucking coals for answers this horrible. My God, like he should not be able to wander outside of his five million dollar WeHo mansion in his two hundred fifty thousand dollar Porsche. He should not be able to wander outside of that without having somebody hold him to task for the insanely incoherent belief system that he preaches on stream and the one that he lives by. God, it's so fucking cringe. I'm an idiot. You buy that are very expensive, which is true. I do. I buy expensive shit from time to time. I'm an idiot, but I've always, you know, these are things that I wanted to buy. Of course, you know, it's not a. I don't. I don't find that to be like. I guess uh, a a marker for your um, for your political beliefs at all. So there are levels to it, though, mm. for sure. Right, but to a casual <laughs> viewer, that there just... are levels to it. Which level are you on, Hassan? Is the 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 multi million dollar mansion and quarter million dollar car? That's is that like closer to like max level capitalist, or are you still down on like the proletariat level of capitalism? kind of hears about you and maybe sees a few clips of you. A lot of the times it's like ranting on people, like wealthy people and mm -hmm. oh, people need to be taxed more. There's a privileged person. And then they look at your lifestyle and they see that you bought this fancy, you know, $3 million house or whatever. You hmm. have a Porsche, you got like, you know, you got canceled for a thousand dollar shirt that you wore to Coachella. I did. Yeah. That was so, oh God. And people think that socialism is when poor, huh? People think socialism is when you have no clothes. Anyway, uh, but you but you see how this juxtaposition would confuse a lot of people and be like, this guy seems like a little bit hypocritical. Yeah, no, for sure. I understand that. But there's nothing I can do beyond the fact that, like, this is not explaining that this is not inherently contradictory to the things that I advocate for, especially considering that, like, I have no issues with being taxed more. I pay the tax rates that I do in California that you probably know better than I do. Mm. Um and although the spending on those taxes is- Socialism is when you pay your taxes. <laughs> they, these are like the most, it's like he's, his idea of socialism, uh, actually, everything he said, his idea of socialism is what Republicans called socialism in 2005. Wow, you want protections for workers? Labor unions, the socialist labor unions? Wow, you want high taxes, socialist tax brackets? Wow, you want to create a baseline welfare, redistribution, socialist welfare? Like, this, this, none of this has anything to do with socialism, motherfucker. These are liberal ideas that can be implemented in a capitalist system. None of this has anything to do with socialism. I hate him, he's such a fucking coward. He won't wear his beliefs on his chest. Just say what you believe. Oh. Uh, is not yeah, he LARPs as a sock dem on these podcasts while on his own shows. He's like a, a, a terrorist genocidal f apologist for the worst and most disgusting regimes of the f 
fucking planet. It's it's so it's unreal that like the Zoomer rise of like the socialist dipshitted cuckery allows people like this to go on. Like like he should be treated like Nick Fuentes or worse on these podcasts because at least Fuentes is smart enough not to openly say you know I love Hitler until he was next to. Kanye, right? Whereas Hassan does say this shit openly on his platforms. He does cheer on the f***ing Houthis. He does cheer on every time f***ing Iran. What was his shit last night when covering the missile strikes and shit? Oh, f it's so f***ing gross. It's so gross. It's so disgusting. Best. I wish that they would spend it better. I still see that as my patriotic duty, knowing that at least some percentage of that is still going to places that desperately need it, like schooling, like the roads and, and you know, whatever. Yeah, this is, this is... Socialism is when taxes pay for roads and schools. Social amenities that are offered, the marginal amount of public transit that we do have, I guess. Overall, it's not inherently contradictory. Uh, it's not about, socialism is not about you know, forcing people to live a certain set of standards. And I, mm -hmm. but that's impossible for me to, to change the mindset of, uh, of every American. We are all conditioned to hate socialism in general. I think I've talked about this before. Part of the conditioning of hating socialism, by the way, is when conservatives would do what Hassan is doing right now, and that's when you conflate socialism, and when people say socialism, they think of like the Soviet Union uh, and, and the Holodomor and like Mao's China and the Great Leap Forward. People are thinking of this, and you're like, oh yeah, but socialism is also California taxes, bro. Socialism is when my taxes go to schools, bro. Like, this is why people hate like the left, uh, not even the left. I shouldn't say like the left like that, but this is why people hate like Democrats and liberals when they try to conflate them with socialism. It's so funny. Democrats spent so long fighting against ideas like bro, taxes and welfare are not socialism. And now you've got these retarded, like 15 year old, pure white Aryan retarded f**ks that are just trying to get popular on TikTok. Okay, mentally, that's where Asana is. 15 year old white kid, okay? That are trying to get popular on TikTok and, and, and streams and YouTube saying like, oh, actually bro, yeah, that is what socialism is. Like f**king kill me. Before, but I think one of the this is a guy who said that we would have to re-educate capitalists in our society. By the way, like, like is that if you're in a socialist country with multiple parties? This is high. This is just this is California taxes and welfare. Okay, this is what Hassan means when he says California taxes and welfare. If you're in a socialist country with multiple parties and one of the parties is a capitalist party, mm -hmm. which would surely exist, yeah. what would you do if that party started gaining momentum? God, Ethan is asking such a question. You. That's what the leftists do. That's what Mao did. That's what they did after the Bolshevik Revolution to other lefties. That's what you do in a leftist country. When you are an Lock illiberal up and in the actual no one cares. Shut up. Any... Hear that Hassan can press that he can get Shut some up. confidence No one back. cares. Not to the same degree as like uh, McCarthy's trials or anything like that. I like it. Well, hold on, hold on. Not to the same degree as McCarthy's trials. Excuse me. It's not like McCarthy, like unilaterally controlled in an authoritarian top-down manner, the federal government, and then like went around and arrested and threw it at gulags, people that he thought were communists. What, what, what is the comparison here? What? Compressed that he can get some of his f***ing confidence back? Not to the same degree as like uh, McCarthy's trials or anything like that. McCarthyism, the guy that hunted down everybody for I would. Oh, any what do you do if they're like, no, f*** that, we're doing capitalism. Yes. Also, see the debate tactic here, because Hassan knows the question and he's dancing like crazy because he doesn't want to answer it because he knows it's like a f***ing... If everything is given to you, then there is no need for conflict of that regard. The solution to that would always be- What would happen if there was a capitalist party? Oh, comrade, in my system, no one would even want to be a capitalist comrade. Oh, welcome today on the Destiny subreddit. I see there are no criticisms of glorious leader Destiny here today. It must be <laughs> that everybody agrees with him, comrade. Yes, that is true. Education and- uh, <laughs> Re-education? He actually says that it. That we're doing capitalism. Yes. If everything is given to you, then there is no need for conflict of that regard. The solution to that would always be education and- uh, <laughs> Re-education camps? Uh, Re-education? <laughs> he says it. Re-education, certainly, yeah. Good. So what would be good Even about a socialist re-education camp for capitalists? <laughs> it wouldn't necessarily, I don't think it'd be camps. I mean, it, <laughs> <laughs> well, it wouldn't be camps. And now on this show, well, socialism is when um, like California taxes and um, welfare and labor unions, bro, kill your video games. To change the mindset of, uh, of every American, we are all conditioned to hate socialism in general. I think I've talked about this before, but I think one of the worst things that I ever said in my career was openly admitting that or or not even like saying i'm not a socialist i i wish i had never done that it doesn't matter what i advocate for if i had never said that why are they not pushing back at all well one is because i don't think that's what they do on the show their show wasn't to like fight with people right which is fair i want them to push back because i think he should be 
obliviated. Um, they don't typically push back on their show because it's just not the format that they do. And they also might not know as much about like everything he said or all the background and all the shit and everything. So there are no murders in paradise. True, Lawson Harrison. I had never done that. It doesn't matter what I advocate for. If I had never said that, and there are plenty of people who don't, that have almost identical values to me, that- Who? Name two. Who has identical values to you that don't call themselves socialists? Who? He's gonna say Bernie Sanders and AOC. And there are plenty of people who don't, that have almost identical values to me, that are received in a much more favorable light. As a matter of fact, celebrated for how kind and how open-minded they who? are. Who? But when you who? get hit who? with that socialism sticker, everybody goes, oh, Venezuela, Stalin, you want, you know, cultural revolution in this country. And, or whatever, whatever they think the socialist boogeyman is. I think that that was a major L for me, I guess, but because I'm so f***ing stubborn, I just, you know, I can't shut the f*** up. And I should have. So it grifted yeah. a little bit. So making money and- He's saying, <laughs> what is, is he saying he grifted by pretending to be a socialist, but he's actually far more moderate? What is the, what is, what, 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 I don't even know what was just said. I don't actually know. I don't know what was just said. Like. Where's our early streams or whatever? Like, this is a guy that had, didn't he have like the whole ha like hammer and sickle background and all this bullshit? Start like with the drama. Uh, like this is, is this all this is this is all just like a grift i guess or when he's chatting on the deep platform it's all just like a grift or fuck where is old his old ass fucking background when we were first talking a long time ago didn't he am i making this up he's saying he was grifting pretending not to be a socialist at the start uh, or whatever whatever they think the socialist boogeyman is you misunderstood what he said but when you get hit with that socialism that are received in a much more favorable light, as a matter of fact, celebrated for how kind and how open-minded they are. But when you get hit with that socialism sticker, everybody goes, oh, Venezuela, Stalin, you want, you know, cultural revolution in this country. And, or whatever, whatever they think the socialist boogeyman is. I think that that was a major L for me, I guess, but because I'm so and stubborn i just you know i can't shut the f up and i should have so it grifted yeah. a little bit so making oh he's saying oh i understand it's like it's hard to hear he's saying should have grifted a little bit. i was saying he should have grifted a little bit i think is what he was saying there he just came out slight but he did grift technically in the beginning because when he was friends with me and he's grifting right now technically by pretending not to be a socialist who the f knows he's like it's like schrodinger socialism like when you push it it either dissolves into tankyism or the most benign center left positions possible socialism is when high taxes strong unions and funding our schools congratulations you sound like a cosmopolitan liberal which there's nothing wrong with of like the 2000s like money and making more money than you need, making more money than you could possibly want. Yeah. That is all a good thing. And you're saying a true socialist would, would argue that that is totally fine. The main- How you make your money is, is important. Okay, sure. That's, that's the fundamental difference that people don't understand. Oh, now he's gonna do his roll. Roll Hassan, uh, Tanky Apologia, uh, clip 172. Um, this is the clip where Hassan talks about how the way that I make money is actually super ethical because I either pay all of my employees a good wage, my pocket podcasts that I work for are co-ops and I ignore the fact that I'm contracted by and work for an organization who's exploiting the labor of the 50,000 people that make my job possible. But since I'm the very last mile and very last part of that very last part, I'm not exploiting anybody. All of my income is actually completely legitimate and totally okay. So I don't have investments. I do have a, I guess, what is it? A 401k or mm -hmm. a yeah. IRA yeah. or something. I have that because like, I want to make sure that, you know, I, you can't work forever. Um, I mean, those are investments, but okay. Obviously I do want to have a, a, a safety net. <laughs> what? Why are we, like, I, never mind. I'm sorry. There's a new Hassan talking point. I'm just, is, is this, <laughs> 
So, is socialism when you keep all your money in your checking account? What What is the... Well, I don't have investments, so I know that it's legit. Like, my, my Wells Fargo account right now is $12 million on it, but I'm not invested, so it's actually okay. You can't work forever, obviously. I do want to have a, a, a safety net um, when I inevitably stop working one day. However, um, I don't have investments. Why? So, I know. Everybody always... Uh, yeah, cause that because that seems silly to me to not want to invest in a country that's given you so much opportunity as well. I don't see... Because I don't see it as a, as a, as a net positive. I think that overall... <laughs> giving people money to invest in their businesses is not a net positive? Okay. Okay, chief. All, that is the fundamental difference between someone who is a capitalist or someone who makes money uh, via capital accumulation versus someone who makes but, money via their labor. I make all of the money that I make off of my labor alone as ethical means. Oh, here you go. Okay, there we go. Sorry, we're back to rolling the other Hassan clip. We're back to rolling. Okay, re reload this clip now. He his the way that he earns money is super ethical, um, ignoring the entire infrastructure of Amazon and that he was contracted by the company, all that. But the, that last mile is just him. So. Now it's good. I make all of the money that I make off of as ethical means as I possibly can conduct. What I mean by that is, like, I have merchandise. This is my own merch. But right? it's made by a co-op. It's made in the United States, and it's made with unionized uh, garment manufacturers. This Unionized? Excuse me? That's capitalism, friend. A, a, a union? So there's still private investment and private owners? That's why the union, I would imagine, exists. I don't. Would you need a union in a cooperatively owned business when the workers are the owners? Or would you need a union to negotiate against the capital owners because you want to have strong protection for your labor force? How is a union union workforce, that's just, that happens just with capitalism? States, and it's made with unionized uh, garment manufacturers. This, of course, destroys the profit margins that I would normally have, but it does the profit margins I would normally have. So he still makes a profit on his merch. So he's still capitalist. That's still a capitalist. You, 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 you are. You're not working to create your merchandise. There are other workers, and you're scraping the profits. You're exploiting their labor to earn money on your own. Unless does he really? Does he sell it all at a at cost? This, of course, destroys the profit margins that I would normally have, but it doesn't matter because, like, that is the most sustainable, most ethical way that I can make uh, make this product. I do it not because, like, oh, I'm going to make some extra money on the side. It's marginal in comparison. So he does. So it's still exploitation, bro. This is just capitalism. It's all this is the same shit. To what I could be making. These are thirty-five dollar T-shirts made in the United States but of America. But you're not investing. Just doesn't make sense to me. Oh, uh, they don't know enough about the economic organization. They should destroy him on this retarded f***ing point. Are you? Do you support socialism? Uh, yeah, bro. The company that I make money off of. By the way, no labor in, invested in that company. The company that I make money off of. Um, the workers are part of a union, bro. So, it's I'm basically a socialist. This isn't even champagne socialism. This is like Down syndrome socialism. This is like lead paint eating socialism. Well, because I just, let's just say your house, for example, mm -hmm. three million bucks. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure I'm rounding up. This is like if Marx wrote about socialism after you brought him back to life and didn't restore his brain. Like this is the dumbest fucking fuck. Fuck, man. It's okay. Sense to me. Well, because just, let's just say your house, for example, mm -hmm. three million bucks. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure I'm rounding up. Maybe it's worth that. You know. Three million. I got it for two seven five. I don't know what okay. it is now. So let's just say it's worth three million dollars. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, you do. Today, how would it be any different for you to buy a one million dollar house and invest two million in the stock market, or instead of buying the Porsche to buy a Volkswagen Jetta for twenty grand and the other hundred, let's because just say, goes into the stock market? I would rather I would rather buy something nice uh, than buy something cheaper and then take the rest of the money. And and invested in the stock market. But think beyond that, there's. A do, you, do you think the? Hold on. It's how is it not capital accumulation when you buy a house? Isn't that the same thing? 
you're investing money in a particular thing, and then over time, it, gr it grows in value, whether it's because of the land that it's built on or the prior value that was invested into the house by the laborers building it, and then you sell it for a profit in the future. How is the share of a business not comparable in this sense when you talk about capital accumulation or, or, um, or capital appreciation? There's already, there is a lot of is money. Is he going to sell the house at the cost that he bought it for so he's not unethically gaining value or, or creating money out of nowhere by exploiting the labor of the last people that built the house or and and invested in the stock market but think beyond that there's already there is a lot of money that i could be investing right now and what is it doing it nothing either but, nothing or so i just it, so or, it, or, it, I just, then or just spend off, it because or spend like it on in, donations in the, but in the capital like, appreciation i think putting it in a porsche what does he have 10 million dollars in his checking account does he have 50 million? No, he's probably not that much. Does he have 10 or 20 million dollars just sitting in a bank account? Is worse for the economy. What did he but just the, did he say? I, have nothing, I could be investing right now. And what is it doing? It nothing. Either but, nothing or so I just, but, I'm, so or it, I just, then it's or worse just spend off, it. Because or I spend like it on in, donations. In a, but it, I spend it on donations? You donate seven figures a year? If, if there are 501c3 donations, are those all able to be looked up publicly? Or we would, would we have to know the organization and we can look up their... In the capital like appreciation, I think putting it in a Porsche is worse for the economy than you investing $100,000 into stocks. At least mm -hmm. if it goes into the economy, you could, you could argue that... It supports businesses with investments that they that they that could other then people use. are also invested in that could be put into like an ETF that people have their retirements in, and then you're taxed on that as well. No, that I, if you I go and sell that for a profit, it's going to. I already get uh, tacked on everything. Right. I love the Hassan is so good. I don't know if nobody catches it or notice it. He's so good at like responding to like the most irrelevant f point, like that has nothing to do with the central claims or try to like divert the conversation. It's got to be intentional. It must be practiced. Because I saw him do this with like Willie, where you just like, you respond to the most, it's like, this is a common like uh, emotionally abusive person will do this too. Um, like you respond to like the most irrelevant fuck part of what was just said and then you try to make the conversation about that thing. Oh my God. You I go understand. and sell that for a profit. It's going to go. I already get f uh, tacked on everything. Right. Because like I'm not investing anything at all. But what is that? That's not even, that's a non sequitur. I get taxed on everything but I'm not even investing it. Those two statements have no, no relation to each other. And then you're taxed on that as well. No, that I, if you I go understand. and sell it for a profit, it's gonna go. I already get uh, taxed on everything. Right. Because like, I'm not investing anything at all. But like if you invested it, would you not get taxed on it? Also, technically, the only type of investment you're doing, I'm pretty sure, I don't actually know. Are 401ks not taxed? I know, can't you do like a, a Roth or an IRA 401k? I don't know. I don't do a 401k because I don't do my company. How does he invest in a 401k? Does he have a private 401k? Um, I have no idea how to do this. But 401k money is not accessible to like retirement. F that shit. Um, how to invest 401k uh, private business. Sole proprietor, I guess you would say, is probably what he is. Sole proprietor. I think you can do a Roth 401k. Also, 401ks, by the way, are invested in the economy. Like, what, what do you think a 401k is? Well, actually, I'm talking shit out. Could you have a 401k checking account? Could you just put money in a 401k? And like, I don't want to invest this in it. Or do 401ks, by definition, have to be invested? I'm actually, I don't actually know. Because it's such a fucking retarded question. I've never even thought about that before. Can you have a 401k checking account? I, I have no idea. Holy shit. Everything that he's saying is just like wild as fuck. He makes too much money to adjust his income with an IRA. Um, that's not true, right? But the the IRA like maximum contributions are so small compared to the amount of money being earned at this point that it doesn't matter that much. I do agree there. It's not going to make a meaningful difference anywhere. I bet you can. I bet you can deposit into a four hundred one k account and like not buy anything and just keep it there as cash. So I guess you theoretically could do that, but I doubt he's doing that. In a like, banking account, I feel like that is the most exploitative thing because they just go sell off loans to people like high interest oh yeah, car sure. loans and stuff like that, rather well, than in the stock market where people yeah, why not? can invest yeah, in it. Because, just, because there's no there's no alternative to the banking than to me, uh, you know, putting the money underneath my pillow. But it doesn't really matter because, like like I said, I usually uh, try to spend as much as it, as much of it as possible either on my family. Or uh, on wait, can I get a percentage? Can I get a percentage on this? 
Well, how many millions of dollars are you spending on mom and dad? A family, by the way, who's already like does incredibly well for themselves. His mom is like a commercial real estate property manager. I think his father um, was involved in. Oh, was it the huge political stuff or was there a business attached? I don't remember exactly. His family is decently well off. What is all this money that we're giving to family? Can we get some percentages, please? Can we get some transparency? You're a financial podcast. I want to hear some numbers. I want to hear some numbers or at least a percentage, please. Really matter because like like I said, I usually uh, try to spend as much as it, as much of it as possible either on my family. Keep in mind that When the, th when the contracts leaked in 2019, I think he'd been streaming for, was he big for one year at this point or two years? When, when did he start streaming? He'd already made almost $3 million by 2019. And I think this was his, um, oh no, no, wait. It was from 2019 to 2021. So he'd already been like decently large. Um, but then we've had three years since then. Um, when was the Amogus period? When did this leak happen? This is on October 6, 2021. Does anybody know when the Amogus timeline was? Was that 2022 or was that 2020? 2020 to 2021? All these years blend together for me. So in two years, or one year for him being big, $3 million. And I don't believe this would have included any, um, because I think... Wasn't this just subscription and ad revenue payout? So this doesn't include any flat cash or bonus incentives that Twitch would have offered him via a contract. I believe, I think, I think, I think this leak was just for ad revenue and subs. Oh, and bits, I guess. $3 million. $3 million. I, pay, I spend it all on my mom. His mom must be blinged the fuck out. Oh, yeah, and no, there's donations aren't counted in that either. Yeah, or any YouTube ad revenue or whatever he makes from his merchandise or, yeah. Uh, try to spend as much, as, as much of it as possible either on my family or uh, on my friends or... On my friends? Oh, what is he giving him, like, to, on my friends? I try to spend as much of it... I try to spend as much money as I possibly can on my friends. I try to spend money on my friends when I can. Uh, I try to spend money on my friends whenever I can. Whenever I can spend money on my friends, yeah. I try to spend money on them. Find me this goddamn clip. Fuck. Where is the, uh, where is the mirror? All right, that's the end of game one. Guys, if you want to support this event, this costs a shit ton of money, but it, it can all be paid back uh, just by getting merch. Shitcamp.gg. There's no sponsor or anything. Am I going to be reimbursed for the firearms <laughs> stream? Uh, yeah, we can or reimburse if we, you. If we have No, enough. we literally, I, if, if people, like, I think we have enough at this point to reimburse for that. This okay. is the last event. This is the last event, so we can 100% reimburse you. <laughs> Shitcamp.gg, though, seriously. What did that event cost? It couldn't have been more than $5,000. That's my guess. Maybe. How much was it altogether? They just went to a range and shot guns or whatever, right? How much was it? And rented a, a few cool guns? Maybe 10000 Maybe? But bro, I thought we spent money on our friends. And you made money, like, streaming, and you got to hang out with all these popular people, and you got, like, seriously? Does anybody know how much this actually cost? Was it ever released, what the overall cost was for this? People are saying two to 3000 I don't know if people are just, like, memeing or... Hey everyone, I tried to pay for the event, but the place wouldn't take cards over the phone or email. And since I wasn't at the actual event, I asked Ludwig to pay, but Lud left early, so Hassan got stuck with the bill. I 100% be paying it back since the stream was my idea. Please, no hate. <laughs> my God. I try to spend a lot on my friends when I can. And my family. I try to spend on my friends and family every time I can. I'll always spend on donations like I, I put it back into fundraising initiatives charity things of that nature so that's the way i um that's the way i operate it's probably very stupid i know everybody always says is like financially unsound for me to do that but i think that it is that is less at odds with my like notice how initially notice how initially like <laughs> oh, oh notice how initially um 
Actually, a huge house, there's nothing wrong with that. $5,000 outfits, so. Uh, bling on all my fingers, toes, and neck, that's fine. Private flights, okay, and what? Social is no private flights, okay. $250,000 car, yeah, I like to buy nice things every now and then. Investing my money? That's the most evil thing I could ever possibly fucking think. You think, that's, you think I could be a socialist? and have an account at Fidelity? Are you fucking crazy? You think that I can be a socialist and have shares in Amazon? What? What? So socialism is when no investments then? That's the way to live your values, except for your 401k? Like, me to do that, but I think that it is, that is less at odds with my values than taking all of the extra money. Cause aside from like the flashy shit that you just brought up, like, mm -hmm. My expenses are nowhere near like the 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 amount of money I make. I don't like I could be living a way more lavish lifestyle, I guess, than than the way than I a than a three or four million dollar mansion in WeHo with a two hundred fifty thousand dollar car. You, it doesn't get that much more lavish from there. There's not like now we're at the area where we're talking about really, in my opinion. Well, there's three things we're either talking about like actual mansions, like ten million dollar plus, or we're talking about uh, yachts or big boats or private planes. Those are like the, the that's the next level. There's not really much more upward room here to to lavish out our lifestyle than four to five figure outfits, private jets that you're flying to places um, for parties and shit. Um, you know, quarter million dollar cars, you know, driving around McLarens, essentially, uh, or, or, or living in, in multi-million dollar West Hollywood, super favorable zip code places. Like, there's not much further up to go from here. I do, because I, I'm doing, I'm very fortunate, and I do the things that I love doing, which is, unfortunately for me, I guess, sitting in front of a fucking computer and yelling for eight to ten hours a day. So I do Where he makes as much as a doctor, remember? Doctors make a million dollars a year, a at shit? least, right? Um, who who gives a shit about the house Who fucking cares? These guys are so stupid. Like, I make, I make like, you know, uh, ten-year doctor or like, you know, law firm partner money. Okay, which is a lot for the average Joe. Is a lot, but these motherfuckers think I'm Jeff Bezos because they're so stupid. Okay, that's it. Is they're stupid. Median doctor salary in Florida is $204,000. <laughs> Median law partner salary. The average law firm partner is around $104,000. To be fair, he said tenured doctor. I'm sorry, how much higher do you think that's going to be? Do doctors get tenure? Median tenured doctor salary. <clears throat> Specialists, so specialist doctors might get, I guess, $344,000. Are we closer there to Hassan's big seven-figure paydays? Holy out of nowhere. No, it's just, it's, it's, incredibly, it's incredibly silly. It's incredibly dumb. Uh, who gives a shit? Uh, what is the actual email? There you go. Top doctors in certain fields definitely pull 500k. Yeah, and I'm sure I could find the world's best neurosurgeon who does make as much as Hassan, okay? <laughs> That's not what we're talking about. Also, the whole stupid point about not investing any money and keeping it sitting in a checking account, he's basically giving his bank a free interest loan, uh, an interest, a free interest free loan for their own investments, which he has no control over. It is just so stupid. Also, the whole stupid point about not investing any money and keeping it sitting in a checking account, he's basically giving his bank a free, oh, okay, yeah. Although, I don't know if banks can loan out against checking account balances. Like, if they can count that as part of their reserve holdings. I just don't know. At seven days a week, I'm in my house, do the things that I love doing, which is, unfortunately for me, I guess, sitting in front of a fucking computer and yelling for eight to ten hours a day. So, I do that. Unfortunately for me. God. The life. It is the most soul-destroying job. The one true thing Hassan said. Son is the type of guy who had to give his employees a pizza party instead of a raise. True. Seven days a week, I'm in my house. So if I'm using something a lot, like my house, yeah, then and I live with my family. Uh, I need it to be a, a big enough house that like they can live there as well. And that makes me happy. And then I'm good. So what's your plan for retirement? 
They can. That's how SVB collapsed. Mm, they had no normal checking, so people had no liquidity. There must be some difference between how the bank can treat a checking account versus a savings account. Because there are limitations on saving accounts normally. Like, you can only withdraw or transfer money to them six times a month, I think, generally. And I think... Um, they pay you an interest rate for it. There must be some difference between how a, tr how a bank can treat a checking account versus a savings. There must be something on their end. If they're paying you interest for one and not the other, that would be my guess. Oh, I, we can just look it up, actually. Fuck it. Um, can banks uh, use checking account deposits for loans? Banks do not create loans from bank reserves or bank deposits. Banks create a loan asset and a deposit liability on their balance sheet. This is how they create credit. The loan... Creates a deposit of which reserves need to be held against, provided by the central... Okay, hold on. Can banks use checking account deposits for reserves? I feel like we're not going to find an adequate answer to this. A bank's checkable deposits. Uh, yeah, we're about to go down a bad black hole of fra how, how fractional reserve lending is actually accounted for, which is going to be way more complicated than we have time for right now. Um, the deposit multiplier, or simple deposit multiplier, is the amount of cash that a bank must keep on hand in order to meet its mandated reserve requirement. The maximum amount of a bank's checkable deposits cannot exceed the amount of the bank's reserves multiplied by the deposit multiplier. Checkable deposits are accounts against which, against which che checks may be written using money loaned by the bank. So a checkable deposit is going to be the bank's deposit that they can write check checks against. Reserve requirement ratio determines the amount banks must keep in reserve and the amount of deposit multiple uh, fractional reserve. Bank enables banks to increase the money supply through lending excess reserves. The amount, uh, the maximum amount of checkable deposits created by bank. Uh, okay, fuck, uh, we're, gonna, we're not going to find this shit right now. Okay, don't care. Fuck it. Let's just say, you know, you're... Why is it a big deal how he spends his money? Obviously, he has never had to worry about longevity and never really will. So who cares if he doesn't invest? Don't like him either, but this seems like a weird thing to tell over. Because he calls other people evil. And he says capitalism is evil. And that private investors are evil. And, the, and landlords need to die and all this shit. And they, these people, like, attack people on a moral level over how they choose to invest or spend their money. Like, these people literally advocate for, like, the death of landlords and shit. And think it's funny and meme and, like, based when it happens. So, yeah, of course, I'm going to be critical of how this fucking retard lives his hyper-consumerist lifestyle. And then I'm good. So what's your plan for retirement? Let's just say, you know, you're... 70 years old one day you don't have any investments mm -hmm. i would assume that you'd want to pay oh off. yeah and saying that rich people should have their children getting raped at college and that'd be better than poor people's children getting raped at college house or something but yeah property what tax would you, but what would you do in the event that social security is not enough to pay for what Probably you need to won't live be. um well, I like, like I said, that's why I have the the uh, the SEP IRA, SCP IRA, whatever. The it's SEP called. IRA, but yeah. I doubt you'd be able to accumulate enough to replace your current lifestyle expenses within that alone. Ooh. And even within that, well, you still have to invest. No, my current lifestyle expenses are are entirely uh, adjusted to how much money I currently do make. I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I would be you know, flying around the world or whatever. Like I went to Australia. Mm -hmm. If I don't have a lot of money, I'm not going to do that. It is what it is. I think to be able to retire where we are in Los Angeles, you need about 5 million bucks minimum to have an income of, let's say 125 grand a year after tax in California, 90, which is a pretty reasonable salary for where we are. Mm -hmm. So that's $5 million that would need to come somewhere. Mm -hmm. and need to be invested to be able to give you those returns. See, even with the SBIRA, I was, I still don't have a credit card, by the way. No, um, I think you, we talked oh about it. Oh my God. What is a SEP IRA maximum contribution? Isn't it like 60,000 a year? SEP IRA contribution limits. I think it's based on your income, your business's gross income up to, I think, um, those using a SEP IRA contribute as much as 66,000 or up to 25% of their business. Yeah, up to their, yeah, whichever is less. Um, yeah, I have a SEP IRA, but if you've got a SEP IRA, why do you, why are you saying you don't invest or how, why, why would you have this, but not other types of investments? I don't understand. Why is like this? Okay. But the other ones aren't, it's so stupid. Uh, this I know. You, you I said you're going to get a credit card. I still haven't got one. Even with the SBIRA, like I was reluctant at first to get it. 
I didn't want to get it at all uh, because I I thought that it was like cheating kind of because like then I am technically accumulating capital. But like there needs to be an appropriate government substitute in normal circumstances and there isn't one like there is no uh, the social security is basically nothing. Mm -hmm. And then beyond that, there is no pension structure in the field that I'm in. But even if there was a pension structure, it's, it's not existent in most uh, industries in general. So then it's like, well, I have no, like I have no alternative, which is why I was. Okay. I'm not going to ban you, but I'm going to start perma banning for this. Okay. You are wrong to think this sentence would be worth reading. Okay. When people type shit and it's like funny and cute, so wait, like waste people time reading. Why? Don't do it. It's just a waste of everybody's time. It's not funny. You've been spamming this message. Okay. Stop. I was forced to concede on that front. But beyond that, I think I will go at it for as long as I can. And when I am no longer able to, then I'll figure it out. But even the money that's just sitting in your, your bank account, I'm assuming, like, it's probably more in alignment with your morals to be putting that in an index fund or something like that well, than I mean, it is. I, you know what i bet it's not even a principled thing is he's just fucking lazy or stupid and he's rich and you can do dumb fucking shit with your money when you make this much like i think i said before like when you make fifty thousand in school you get it to a hundred thousand it's still pretty cool you can blow it through a hundred thousand two hundred thousand pretty quickly pretty easily once you start hitting the seven figure range of money it's pretty hard to bleed that much off unless you start like the huge real estate purchases um or boats or um boats or planes um but if you're not doing one of those three things you that's a lot of disposable income your morals to be putting that in an index fund or something like that. Well, then I mean, I, like I said, I, I usually give it uh, to, like, I will buy. I usually give it. You give millions. Of, you know that's illegal. Tax. You can't just give millions and millions of dollars to people. There's a limit on gifting. What is he saying here? Like, what is your maximum gift limit? Maximum. Isn't there a lifetime max? Maximum gift amount family. Uh, hold on. I just had a, uh, I just had a, uh, a quick realization. This is only for reporting gift taxes? Wait, how much money can you give? Oh, okay. Thank God. Jesus. Sorry. I thought that, um, I, I, cause I just realized, uh, I didn't take into account the tax stuff cause I gave my parents a whole bunch of money last year to pay shit off. And now I was wondering if I, if they would either have a huge tax liability, but they're not. Okay. You, there's, cause I must've looked this up before, before doing this, uh, any amount that exceeds, um, uh, okay. So your parents at least can give you up to 17,000 each in 2023 and it isn't taxed any amount that exceeds that will need to be reported to the irs by your parents and will count against their lifetime limit of 12.9 million dollars okay so it's the um there's a pretty big lifetime limit on that all right like that well then i mean I, like i said I, I usually give it uh to like i will buy things for my family instead like so i don't have a lot of money sitting in my bank account that is fascinating this is like How's the new car search? Not happening at all. I had to get my oil changed yesterday, though. I mean, I, like I said, I, I usually give it uh, to, like, I will buy things for my family instead. This like, is a lie. He's not buying millions of dollars worth of things for his family. I can't believe they're letting him walk on this. Has he not discussed how much money he's making before on this podcast? Like, he, you're not buying. You're, you don't buy your mom $100,000 worth of shit every month. This is such a fucking lie. Like, so I don't have a lot of money sitting in my bank account. That is fascinating. This is like, I mean, we, so we've never talked to, to anybody no. that... Because it's not true. It's a lie. You can't, you're not just spending that much money on your family. That's a wild... They should set off so many red flags. There should be so many alarm bells. Like, hold on. You make over a million dollars a year. You don't invest any of it. And, but none of it sits in your bank because you're spending all of it on your family. There's, it's not possible. 
that uh, that does that. I mean, it's generous. It's very generous. You could spend it on us. <laughs> we, hey, listen, Grant we, needs a new pair of shoes. We got a, a Foga de Chao. We could go there. I like, Foga de Chao is yeah. your... See, that's the thing, like... What's wrong with that? No, oh God, Foga de Chao sucks. It's all you could eat, though. Last one... No, do I Do we need can. to boycott them? Did they do something wrong? No, no. They just... I think that, I think <laughs> that Foga de Chao... The meat is sourced. No, no, no. I love eating meat. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> There's some really good restaurants with, like, really high-quality yeah. meat that isn't, like... You know, shout out some restaurants yeah. right now for the people watching. Um, no, actually, I don't want to. You don't want then, to out no, yourself because you, yeah, because you go <laughs> there. Oh no, no, no! Yeah. I talk. I I will. If I go to a nice place, if I go to a nice restaurant, I'll fucking I'll I'll talk about it. What, dude? This is the way I see it. Is like that's what the money is for. What the fuck else am I gonna do with but it? But now, why not donate it? Why not just give I it? Am. To I am. Okay, Chow's a pretty nice place. It's a pretty awesome place. I've been to a lot of steakhouses. Uh, some of the most expensive steakhouses, like three hundred dollars a plate. Um, I'm sure there are more. There was a one in New York City where you needed a ten thousand dollar investment for a table. But, <laughs> um. Fogo de Chao is, I don't know, I wonder, what is he eating? Where is he going that Fogo de Chao is trash to him? I'm so curious. Like, I do. Give it to people. What do you do donate to? Like, what charities? I'm, um, oh, okay. Uh, I, I, uh, I do a lot of fundraising initiatives, and every single time I do, I'm donating like, you know, 50 grand, 100 grand here and there. Um, it's uh, strike funds mm -hmm. across, the, across the country. H has he only done like two donos like that? How many of these has he done? Nuxenor, thanks for the 492 viewers. I'm trying to pocket watch, but God, he's just so dishonest. It drives me crazy. Abortion oh. funds. Uh, we did a fundraising for releasing aging prisoners, uh, releasing aging persons from prison in New York. Abortion funds in the South. Uh, like, mm -hmm. it's it's just Ukraine. Sure. Like, uh, raised a lot of money uh, for for uh, earthquake relief in Turkey and yeah. Syria. That was like almost, I think it was like $2 million, I think. And then same for uh, Palestine, for Palestinian charities. So here and there, whenever I'm doing fundraising, like I will also put in my money as right. well in so, fundraising initiatives. I'm curious, what criticisms of you do you think are fair? Give me uh, give me the criticisms and I'll tell you if I- Oh, ha, nice one, nice pivot there. I can't even think of any about me. I Let's see, is it gonna actually get, um, is he actually going to name a criticism or is it going to be like a, an irrelevant one? like, oh, yeah, like I guess people say that uh, sometimes I ban chatters too quickly, which I guess I do. Here we go. Okay, so what criticisms of you do you think are fair? Give me uh, give me the criticisms and I'll tell you if I think it's fair or not. That's also, by the way, that that shows an incredible lack of self-reflection, because when you're a streamer, you're like one of the most criticized people on the planet. OK, everybody has an opinion about you. You can't think of any fair criticisms of how you conduct your con like behavior. There's no you don't even have any at the top of your head. Do you not? Like, you know he reads hater comments and shit because he's obsessing over LSF constantly. He's obsessing over chat constantly. He's obsessing over YouTube comment sections and other Reddit posts and other subreddits and Twitter constantly. Like, how of you do you think are fair? Give me, uh, give me the criticisms and I'll tell you if I think it's fair or not. Well, I'm guessing you know you're aware of all of the, the criticisms that people... Yeah, criticize. I mean, I, I, but yeah, but... Do you think but what, what criticism out coming like... from you? Maybe you're not even criticized on it publicly, but you think it's fair. <sighs> I get angry a lot. I think I get very emotional and I get very passionate. Because I care I about things so much. Ah, I knew it. God, fuck, I could write this guy's script. Oh, kill me, bro. It baited too frequently by people who want to get a clip off. Like, they'll come into the chat. I have a policy of, like, allowing everyone to talk to me and to I'm talk I'm such to a good person and I let so many people like talk and just sometimes I get triggered because I'm such an advocate of freedom of speech. <laughs> Ignore the re-education camp thing that sometimes people just say things that I feel so strongly about and I just, I lose it a little bit because I think of those poor dying children across the world that need me and I just, I get a little bit too temperamental over it. My God. I want to know too frequently by people who want to get a clip off. Like they'll come into the chat. I have a policy of like allowing everyone to talk to me and to talk to one another. Most places, especially like a political stream, normally would not have that policy in order to be able to conduct themselves in a different way. What are you, who are you, who are you comparing yourself to? Who doesn't have an active chat as a politics streamer? Vosh does, I obviously do. There's like your three largest ones. David Pakman has a chat. What do you mean? Like, does he not respond to chat as well? I, like, what are we even talking about here? Come on. Right, to be able to control the conversation and the narrative. So that sometimes opens up an environment for bad actors mm -hmm. where they will come in and they'll say something malicious they'll say something that is like purposefully uh, incendiary to, to bait me into like responding in an emotional way and I do that 1,000 times a day for the same exact issue and on the thousand one I explode and then 
I gave them a great opportunity to clip that, put it on Reddit, put it on Twitter, be like, this fucking guy's an asshole. Look at him. He's so mad. And I think that in spite of the odds, I need to get much better at that for sure. That is. Oh my God, dude. Jesus. Do you think his leg is crossed because he has such a huge fucking erection talking about himself right now? Is definitely a thing that I am, am frustrated by. I do care about that too much. Are we... Do you think we're going to move, like, are we going to push on that a little bit to get a little bit more? Are we going to push for an actual criticism of himself, or? And I get too mad, and then, you know, people only see the bad stuff, and they never see, and they never factor in the eight other hours of the stream. Do you think it's a net positive, though, that more people are talking about you, no. what you stand, do you think it's a negative? No, because my line of work requires charitability. Sure. And... Like this conversation that we just had, you guys are very charitable, right? You're you're very open minded to my position. You're not in you're not <laughs> you're not pushing back on me at all or challenging me at all. You're letting me answer however I want without any like critical analysis of how fucking stupid things I'm saying are. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Not inherently hostile. You're not primed into being hostile to me. So we can have a normal conversation, normal back and forth, and it can be very productive. Like I, I think this was a very productive conversation. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys feel the same way. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. A lot of people don't think that way and a lot of people are just like primed into hating someone because they've seen bad clips or things out of context or uh they have their own they've made up their mind like oh this guy's a Porsche, but he's a socialist. Meanwhile, huh, uh, so there's this Twitter account called Censor Man, and there's uh, this Twitter account called like Groip6969 Love Hitler. So let's look at what these things that uh, they tweeted about Destiny today. Oh, let's. Oh, and there's this other account here um, called Hitler Rules, and then the number four Eva. Uh, oh, this guy has some things to say about Destiny. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to spend all day today going over these Twitter accounts. But also, people clip assassinate me like crazy. It's so horrible and crazy how people take me out of contact. Like, uh, they have their own, they've made up their mind. Like, Oh, this guy's a fucking Porsche, but he's a socialist? Pfft, okay. Um, you know, fuck this guy, he's a grifter. Not realizing that, like, there are values at odds with socialism that, uh, that are shocking for people like yourself, like the fact that I don't, you know, make investments, for mm -hmm. example. My, my life- I don't make investments. As a consequence of the 20-year affair that is known as the War on Terror, training that actually champion and barbarian free- what they are saying Man, I wonder I if that's a griper. It is. It's, I don't even know if it's a griper account or if it's just a full-on Nazi account. Hassan quotes, remember earlier, apparently Dan thought I was coping on this or whatever, which is funny that people think I don't track any of the shit that people say about me online. Um, people think that uh, the, the griper shit has nothing to do with like lefties hating me. It, Hassan amplified these accounts so much more. You can't hear anything? I don't know why the volume is quiet. Blame whoever made it. But like, yeah, this account and so many other griper accounts got amplified like crazy by Hassan. Account. Wikipedia research stream. All I not looking for. good. Sean Strickland outlines his issues with the LGBT community. Ten years ago to be trans. Yeah, Jesus. Line of work requires people to be charitable to what I have to say. That when someone is primed into hating me, it's over. I can't. Uh, you know, I, I it's, it becomes you much harder for me them. to convince them. Yeah. That is the reason why I fucking hate when I get clipped out of context. It's just the worst thing, especially if it's like the opposite position of the position that I hold. What, what, like, can you give one example? What's one example of him being clipped out of context? Oh, I can think of one actually that I defended him on was the skin comment. People thought that he was being like racist. I don't think he was being racist. I think it was just his go-to insult for like an acne kid. But I feel like in general, I don't know if Hassan deals with getting, well, he must be by some accounts maybe that I just don't follow. But I think that most of the stuff that people roast him over had to do with stuff related to like Ethan. Um, streaming being the hardest job, you could argue that that wasn't out of, although I don't even think in context, I don't think people are gonna care about that one. I think that most of the things that Hassan has gotten in the most trouble over weren't out of context at all. It was the America deserved 9-11 comment, then he had to go on a whole fucking show with Jenk to try to weasel his way through that one. It was the Dan Crenshaw got skull fucked by a brave Mujahideen, that was a big one. It was all the comments to Ethan, the settler baby shit, the, um, it was the settler baby shit, it was the re-education camp thing, it was defending, uh, China uh, in, uh, invading or taking over Tibet. It was in. It was defending. Um, fuck. There was one more big one. Um, it was. It was. All, it was. It was these. These. None of these were taken out of context. I, 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 like. I hope he gives an example. He's not going to. Oh, the Ukraine not getting invaded one. Um, he's not going to. Yeah. He's not going to. He's not going to bring any of these up. It was the defending the Houthis or asking that one Yemeni kid like, oh, what's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite fucking. Um, 
anime. Oh, you're like Luffy or whatever the fuck. It was the um, defending the Houthis. It was calling the J Dam in the hospital. Like none of these are out of context, bro. You're just a retard. <laughs> that I don't, you know, make investments, for example. Mm -hmm. my, my line of work requires people to be charitable to what I have to say, that when someone is primed into hating me, it's over, I can't, uh, you know, I, I, it's, it becomes you much harder for me them. to convince them. Yeah. That is the reason why I fucking hate when I get clipped out of context. It's just the worst thing, especially if it's like the opposite position of the position that I hold. Nate, this is why I always give examples when I talk, by the way, so that I can always ground things out, or it's why when I'm making accusations of him, I'm trying to like Google and show you, so I'm not just like making this shit up. Um, uh, and, and that people make up additional assertions mm -hmm. off of that. It's very frustrating. It's already frustrating on a human yeah. level. Like, I'm sure you wouldn't like it if someone clipped you out of context and we're like, oh yeah. That would happen. You know, yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah, it happens. That's just the most frustrating but, thing. And, and you guys do it in a podcast, which is like a very limited setting. Now imagine if this wasn't just a podcast, but like there's hundreds of thousands of people coming in and out and are able to like at you and like directly address you over and over again. You would probably find yourself trapped in this weird situation where you're addressing the same yeah. things over and over again a million times. Well, I'm sure too, when you put people in front of a camera for 10 hours a day, Eventually, out of those ten hours a day for Plenty of years. Oh, oh my God! And they're pretending it's just—it's not. That's not what's happening. That's not what's happening. Make him give an example. Gosh, there's, there's, most people will probably have more slip ups than someone who's used to being on the camera and oh, comfortable yeah. and absolutely moderate themselves. And especially when it's a political subject matter that you're covering, which means that there's immediately going to be a lot of people who don't agree with you or are primed into hearing you in the exact opposite way, even if they're, uh, even if they're allies yeah. to your position. Does it ever get to you? Are you ever bothered to an extreme level about negative comments? Yes and no. I think, I think it's, it's frustrating to, to have people literally maliciously misunderstand you, even if they know better, but they still have. I'll give you an example. I went to a party oh, the examples. next morning. I'm streaming, and I was okay. talking about my social battery running out when I'm streaming for eight hours a day. Do some of the things. That we oh, he's gonna go for the least offensive. He's gonna go for the. Oh my god, he's doing the. I went to a party the next morning. I'm streaming, and I was talking about my social battery running out when I'm streaming for eight hours a day. Do some of the things that we just talked about, hmm. and how I said it. And I said streaming is soul sucking, in that regard in comparison to the sales job that I had that was also client facing and client pleasing. And I said that streaming is soul sucking in a very different way than other jobs are outside of like customer service, like being on the phone every day, like that probably fucking robs you of your soul in a, in a really meaningful way. And I even compared it to, uh, I even compared it to like, if I did labor all day, I probably want to socialize afterwards. Whereas after I stream for eight hours a day, I can work out, I can do something physical, but I can't do something social. I was talking about my own personal experiences, comparing it to another job that I had held in the real world, implying that like, I understand real jobs are different than streaming, which is wonderful. Obviously we're very privileged uh, and, and I'm, I'm very fortunate to be in the position that I'm in. I acknowledge it every day. Someone purposely clipped the streaming is soul sucking in a way that real jobs aren't. Like, and then they said, Hassan thinks streaming is harder than, much harder than a real job. That went viral before I was even done with my argument. It had already gone to Keemstar and so many other places who most likely knew better because they are influencers themselves. They understand it. They don't fucking stream for a reason because of the reasons that I'm mentioning. And yet they were like, oh man, this guy's son. God, remember when Ludwig made a harmless joke about this thing? And Ludwig is such a fucking brown noser that when Hassan went and cried to him, he edited up the whole fucking video and then eventually took it down and re-recorded it and lied to his entire fucking audience about why he did it. He said it wasn't performing as well or some bullshit. And then I think finally came out and admitted, yeah, Hassan asked me to change the whole thing. And um, yeah, I don't want to upset any of my incredibly fucking sensitive friends because the cloud is worth more more than you know, a, a fucking joke in a YouTube video, and then tried to blame my community on the people giving him death threats because Hassan probably told him. So cringe. And he's such a hypocrite, he hates fucking workers. Here's a guy who, I don't know what the fuck he does to his employees, talking about someone like me, the largest donor to the Amazon labor union, the largest individual donor to the Amazon labor union who works with labor organizers every fucking day of the week. And this fucking asshole is like positioning himself as like the true oh champion God. of workers' rights by saying that I hate workers. Like I hate like real American workers. That does get really frustrating because for two reasons. One, because nobody wants to be misunderstood by millions of people because that makes a lot of money for them to voluntarily and maliciously misunderstand my point so they can make YouTube videos and get ad revenue because that those clicks drive, that controversy and those clicks drive revenue in your direction and affinity from people who- How does he, he talks to labor organizers every day of the week? Oh, I thought he was implying that like the union people that he donated to talk, does he say he does? I don't, he's probably gonna say, well, I bring on people interview on my streamers, I'm dumb shit, his content. We're looking for uh, someone to be like, yeah, fuck this Hassan guy. And it's, it's frustrating because then a shit ton of people misunderstand you. It's also frustrating because like then on issues where I would be able to make change and change someone's mind on, I'm completely shut out from that person. That person it has a normal life, has a job, has friends. I'm an afterthought, of course I am. I'm just the afterthought of that hypocritical socialist who thinks that his job is harder than mine. So when I talk to that person about unionizing their workplace, they're not gonna fucking listen to me. They're gonna say, no, you're a bad guy. I think you're a piece of shit. And I don't even fault them for thinking that. Like I, I of course fault those who have manipulated him, content creators who deliberately and voluntarily make this kind of uh, drama content knowing full well the context. But I don't fault that person. I get it. Do you care about being liked? Yeah, of course. Would you say you're happy? For sure. 
And we're going to do a real quick game at the end. Mm -hmm. And then before that, we're going to ask you questions from your audience. So we actually went into your Discord and asked some fans for questions for you. Okay. Okay. So oh, we have 10 we questions. Yeah. I'll start. How many inches are your biceps? Um, I think we, fuck, we did this. We, we measured it on the podcast, on my podcast for your end. I think it was like 18, 18. inches, 18, okay. 18, 19. I don't know. That's pretty good. Should pineapple be on pizza? Eh, not really, but I mean, it's fine, I guess, if you like it that much. I don't prefer it. How do you get along so well with a woman? With a woman? With women. With women? Women. Yeah, I don't know. women. I just, we're on the streets, you're a charmer. Am I? Yeah. That's really? people say. Yeah. That's crazy. Do you, I, dis I, do you disagree? I get along fine with most people in my, like, immediate vicinity, I think. Um, but as far as, like, women goes, I don't know. I just, I just treat them like they're guys. I treat them the same as I would as a dude. And they like that? Yeah. I think, yeah, it's just like, I mean, it depends. It depends on how you, guess, what? <laughs> it depends on how you, how you treat men, I guess. But like, if you treat them with the same level of respect and, and, and don't undermine them, that's I think crazy, that's, bro. That's, that's like half the battle. So just treat them like, like men. That's how I do it. But also treat men better, I guess. <laughs> treat men and women better. How much do you pay for a haircut? Zero dollars because it's usually. Usually my boy Jeff Wittick. The free labor? Yeah. So it's free labor. Yeah, free labor. <laughs> no, actually, he makes so much. Actually, yeah. uh, so Jeff is a, a good friend of mine. Love yeah. him. Um, Jeff Wittick, I don't know if you guys know. Yeah. Wait, hold on. No shot. Am I. Am I just primed to hate him? That's like half the battle. So just treat him like like men. So I do it, but also treat men better, I guess. <laughs> treat men and women better. How much do you pay for a haircut? Zero dollars because it's usually my boy Jeff Wittick. The Free okay, just as a heads up, if anybody in chat disagrees with me, they're retarded and they don't, whatever. Okay, I don't know if Hassan is memeing or trolling here. I truly have no idea. If you have a friend and they do artwork or if they do anything like that, you are it would be more nice to rape your friend in a literal sense than it would be to ask them to do their art for you for free. That is one of the most, it's like Holocaust rape and then asking friends that do art as a profession to do shit for free because it's not real work and it's just meme shit and who cares dog, just do me a fucking favor, okay? Oh my God. <sighs> Destiny is part of his YouTube channel. Okay, that's different, okay? If it's part of a YouTube channel and the guy does content on it and he gives free haircuts because he makes content of it, that's a different thing then, that's fine, okay? But I would even add that, I would even add that as a f***ing, I would add that as a qualifier though, that if you say that, oh, I get like, do you pay for art? No, I get it for free from a friend who like advertises shows. I would, I would clarify that because it is such an unbelievably, horribly dog shit fucking thing to have friends that do a particular line of work that's like entertainment or art or whatever. Be like, oh shit, bro, you do this. Like you guys could like play for free at my wedding, right? Or like, oh, you take pictures, right? Like, do you think you can come like take pictures for our, you know, reception? Like it should be cool, right? Like you can come and uh, eat with us afterward. Like don't ever do that. It is the, that is the lowest of the lowest of the horrible shit you could ever do, okay? Ugh. Labor? Yeah. So it's free labor. Yeah, free labor. <laughs> no, but it looks like the guy has a channel, so. But also, fuck us on. You pay for a haircut. Zero dollars because it's usually my boy Jeff Wittick. The free labor? Yeah. So it's free labor. Yeah, free labor. No, actually, <laughs> you make so much. Actually, yeah. Yeah, so Jeff is a, a good friend of mine. Love yeah. him. Um, Jeff Wittick, I don't know if you guys he know. Yeah. He, he did. Mullet. Me too. Oh, he did? He actually yeah. gave me a fantastic haircut. Yeah, he's a great, yeah, great yeah, He's dope. Great guy as well. Yeah. Uh, that piece of shit makes so much money every time he comes on because he's always shilling his products. Every time he comes on, he's like, Oh, they do well? I think. That's what he tells me. Good for him. But, but, even if, but he doesn't give a shit. He would do it even if he wasn't. The paid and exposure meme. Wait, he says when he comes on. Wait, he does, he must stream it to his own channel, right? What is this guy's name? Hold on, don't make me do this. Hassan Piker thinks Mr. Beast is the devil. It does, it is his own channel, right? It looks like it, Jeff Widdick or whatever, right? So he does it on his own channel. And look, he's got three million plus subs. Surviving 24 hours in a maximum security prison. I stopped eating for three days. 19 pounds. Did he cut his leg off? I raced Cody Ko and it got ugly. <laughs> He's the guy from the skit channel. Because it's usually my boy Jeff Wittick. The free labor? Yeah. So it's free labor. Yeah, free labor. No, actually, <laughs> he makes so much. Actually, yeah. yeah. So Jeff is a, a good friend of mine. Love yeah. him. Um, Jeff Wittick, I don't know if you guys he know. Yeah. Yeah. He gave me a mullet. Me too. Oh, he did? He actually yeah. gave me a fantastic haircut. Yeah, he's a great, yeah. great yeah. He's dope. Great guy as well. Yeah. Uh, that piece of shit makes so much money every time he comes on because he's always shilling his products. Every time he comes on, he's like, Oh, they do well? I think. That's what he tells him. me. Good for him. But, but, even if, but he doesn't give a shit. He would do it even if he wasn't shilling product. But he'll, he'll cut my hair, put it in a fucking bag. Uh, and then he'll be like the next guy that, you know, the next guy or girl that buys this 
uh, buys uh, one of my products, I'm going to ship this hair. If they love you, why not have your friend do what they are best at? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just me personally, I, I guess. Maybe I'm projecting because I went to school for music or some shit. Even if they liked you, I think I would just still pay services for a friend. If, a friend, if, they, if this is your job, like I'll pay for it. Like, why would I not? I'm gonna, like, because if you're doing something for me, um, you're not taking it. You're not filling another customer order and I've got money for it. And I, if I'm, especially if it's a friend and I'm supporting what they do and I, you know, I support their career, why would I not pay for, why would I not pay for it? Like, there might be obvious exceptions here. If you guys are all, like, on the struggle or on the grind or some shit and you do favors for each other, that might be different, right? <clears throat> like, I want to do, uh, I really want to get my house painted or some shit, but I don't have money for it. And your friend is, like, a painter. is like, oh, bro, like, I can grab some paint from the fucking shop that's, like, extra for some shit. I mean, some guys can come over and paint it. Like, you can buy pizza squares. Like, that, there's, like, a difference there if you're all on your grind or struggle or some shit. But if you're, if you're made, you've got money, you're doing everything, you should always pay your friends for their work. Uh, even, if, even, if they, even if they say... Because especially because when you do art professionally, you're used to everybody just like not thinking what you do is a real job ever. Even if you even if they're offering for free, you should just say like, bro, just tell me you don't worry. Like I can pay it. It's fine. Even if they're offering, you should offer to pay. Trust me. They'll feel good about it. One step closer to getting into heaven. Like, does he actually do that? Yes. Are you, bo are you bothered by that? Like, are you kind of no, weirded out? No, no that's that also actually. Nope. Sorry. Hold on. I am reforming my opinion on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't go strong enough. Actually. If your friend offers to do something for free and you can't afford it, you should actually beat the shit out of your friend. You should punch him, okay? You should knock him out. He's probably 23, 24. He hasn't worked for very long. And then what you should tell your friend, okay, after he gets to the hospital, he's recovered, he's come back, and he's good, and your friend's like, bro, what the fuck? I was offering to do you a favor for free. You just say, bro, you fucking retard, okay? Every time you try to go out and sell a job to a customer and you're like, bro, I want to do this. And the customer's like, really? Well, why would you charge me? I had a friend that said he could do it for free. You're fucking your whole industry over. Stop offering your talents for free, you dumb motherfucker. I might see it as a you being like kind or you doing a nice act. But then when I go to pay the next dude, I'm going to give him a hard time because I got another friend that did it for free for me. So even if you're selling or offering services as an artist, you should always charge. Don't do shit for free for friends ever because humans are scumbags and they don't ever see things as gifts. They see it as adjusting the level of expectation. So when you offer free art to your friend, he thinks that all art is free. That's what happens. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to ship this hair. Does he actually do that? Yes. Are you, bo are you bothered by that? Like, are you kind of weirded out? No, no, that's, no, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, what if it's some guy said. that just randomly buys it? wasn't even thinking. But, like, why but is think about this. Hair? What if they put that in a crime scene? Like there is a murder or something like that. Some sprinkling your hair <laughs> and um, you get caught up in something like that. Let me tell you. I have a permanent alibi. I'm literally always live. <laughs> so really I think haircuts are a little different. My friends and I give each other haircuts as a fun activity. That sounds very, in like a fun way, kind of gay. Um, but if you're not like an actual barber, if it's like some other different thing, that's not what I'm, that's the different, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh God. Now people are gonna be like, did you pay Farha when she drew those pictures on paint on your desktop? A good point. Sure. Yeah, so that's the other thing. Like, mm. people used to, people always speculate about like what Twitch streamers do in private, right? Like, they always talk about stuff like that. And it's like, bro, I don't have any privacy. I'm live literally 10 hours a day. What could I be doing? What have you noticed? By the way, this is just me. What have you noticed are the benefits of using Nicorette? Or what is that? Is that Zin. not Zin. I'm Zin. Oh, because, you know, Tucker Carlson does them too. Yeah, I know. Would you I pop a Zin that. with him? Um, I mean, if I'm out of Zin, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, I uh, do Zin now. I. Nicorette's great. It uh, helped me quit smoking. I, I used to. What were you addicted to? Smoking. Cigarettes? Yeah. Hmm. I started out with chew, actually, and then I uh, started smoking. Usual story, pack a day. Uh, tried to quit it so many times, and then nicotine gum literally helped me. save my life. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. What are your thoughts on Jack Doherty? Who's that? He's like that the kid that is on. Wait, wait, wait. Is he the fucking. Is he the little. He probably is. Is he the fetal alcohol syndrome kid who that has like <laughs> that, that big fucking bouncer? <laughs> that's, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, sad. I think mothers should stop. Mothers should stop drinking alcohol when they're pregnant. <laughs> you will create more Jack Doherty's. Nobody wants that. We'll send this to Jack. He'll okay. really appreciate that. Would, yeah. you, would you take him in a boxing ring? Would, take him. What do you mean? He's like <laughs> he's like the size of my fucking quad. All right. Yeah. You have it here. Hassan Piker calling out Jack Doherty. No, I'm not going to fight so, Jack Doherty. We're going to be hosting this on yeah. next Sunday's I'm, episode. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go to jail for child <laughs> abuse. And also on top of that, it'd be probably a hate crime because, you know, it's like fetal alcohol syndrome. <laughs> Wait, in chat, real quick. Can somebody link me second, both of Second Thoughts Patreons? The deep program one. Hold on, fuck. I'm tweeting this motherfucker. We're done with this video also. Destiny viewers might be the dumbest people alive. For the, um, for the last couple of days... Uh, they've been after me for the fact that I own supercars. I drive a 2014 Ford Focus. Wear $350 Red Wings. They're Kohl's boots I got a decade ago. And that I'm not living in abject poverty. Big brain. Oh my god, wait. He literally does just have him on his stream. <laughs> I've been, I mean, that's how I do it every day. I don't know how to.
This doesn't count as exploitation of labor? <laughs> maybe one month ago? Well, maybe Jeff is still working on posting the video. Conversation. He, he pays him an exposure. He literally pays him an exposure. That's so based. That's so based. Give him the hundred bucks for the haircut. Cause not saying me in the back. Jeff's cameraman is there recording you YouTube? Yeah, maybe he is. He'll post it. All right, we don't care. We're good on our, on our Hassan hate for the day. Steven. What's up? I, uh, I feel like you could have ended that tweet in a more aggressive manner. Why? You know, you know what the last sentence should have been? Kill yourself? No. The last sentence shouldn't have been like, bottom of the bottom line, you're making at least $40,000 a month. F yourself. Because he probably is, right? Well, with YouTube. Uh, I just try views. to be conservative. I don't ever want to get caught on it. Yeah, you're doing this again. The, well, it's my understanding that you have 7,300 subs. And of course, they're all at the lowest level. Like, the thing is, he's not going to call you up unless you're wrong. And you're probably not going to be wrong. What? I don't think adding your thing um, strengthens the tweet at all. And all it does is it potentially opens me up to being incorrect about a thing. So what, there's I mean, why, no why upside list? and there's potential downside. Why? What's the average that you know he is making off of YouTube? Ads? I have no idea. You don't know what a thousand views does on YouTube uh, for revenue? I, I don't know for his channel. I don't know how many ads he has in his videos. I don't know how many fucking, I mean, I can like guesstimate, but why? Yeah, there's literally, it's already, okay. the, the claim is already so strong. He's got two Patreons. He's pulling at least 20,000 a month just from Patreons. I can throw the other stuff there without putting an amount. Like I think the poser is pretty strong on its own. Why would I risk being correct or incorrect on a particular thing that then he could call me out on and divert on? I mean, maybe a sentence saying you're making at least 20, but let's be realistic, probably closer to 50K a month. I mean, that's pretty strong. Or I could just put 20,000 plus plus. Yeah. I don't think so. I think it would have been a lot harder hitting to say, like, you know, the other thing. But that's fine. Okay. You're too, you're just too conservative. You're too guarded and, you know, my understanding-y thing. I wish you would just be more... We don't have to assume every sub is the bottom one, but that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Thanks. Toronto protesters react to breaking news of Iran launching drones in Israel. What is this? Uh, what is the post? Why do they remove it? Oh, Mira, hold on. Everyone, I would like to make a quick announcement. We the protest to bring in this announcement. The Islamic Republic of Iran has just sent tens of drones towards Israel. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to bet that there's not like a single Iranian actually in this fucking crowd? Or are they different in Canada? Or have I just met, like, I feel like every Iranian I've met in the U.S. like fucking hates Iran. Are there, maybe that's not the case, maybe I've met a, not a representative sample of people. <laughs> diaspora is different. I don't know anything about an Iranian diaspora, so maybe there are different families. Iranian Iranians also hate Iran. <laughs> okay. Lebanon. Israel has bombed multiple countries. Okay. Uh, 